I have a hot take. I have a hot take about the most anticipated brain rot series of anime summer 2024, and it's Nokotan. And we're on episode, I think, four of Nokotan right now, and I read a very interesting comment. Sometimes I like to just sort by controversial. And I want to see some fucking hot takes. I'm not here to look at the normie takes. I'm not here to listen to the popular opinion. I want some motherfuckers to say this shit that no one else wants to say. And this guy here says episode 3 was kind of boring. Was this one still boring or did it pick up? I'm curious. This is an episode 4 thread. And Simple Sample 23 says, I don't think they were even trying to be funny with this one. It is even worse than the last episode. Now, I don't completely agree with that. I think that they are trying to be funny, but they're falling off somehow. And this, I think, comment from T1ADCT1 might be spot on. It really depends on your preference of humor. Meanwhile, this episode, I figured out one of the show's biggest weaknesses. Koshitan isn't really that interesting as a central character. When I read this, I really thought to myself, do I actually like Koshitan? What has happened with Koshitan every time? The formula is this, Koshitan is the straight man. In any sort of comedy, these kind of animes, a bunch of bizarre shit happens. Then you have the straight man's reaction. And that person's expectation of normalcy creates this contrast that makes it funny. That's the punchline. But has it actually been that funny? Let's continue with the comments. With the decision of trying to introduce everyone in the first four episodes and subsequently moving around in the order of chapters. And this is true, right? What are we doing recently? We're four episodes deep, but all they're doing is just introduce the sister, we got the rice girl, Basha Meme, whatever, we got the three new girls. The focus is mostly towards Koshitan and how she reacts to situations. And we're not really seeing the biggest sources of humor that appeared in the PV. The oddness of Nokutan. And the more I thought about this, the more I started to realize, this guy's fucking cooking. Why was Nokutan so viral and like, well, uh, received before the anime even came out? It was the bizarreness of the trailers. This inconceivable plot. There is no plot. It's just a girl. It's a deer. Is she a cyborg? I don't know. There's crazy shit happening everywhere. The viral song made it even go crazier. And everyone was expecting this crazy brain rot show that may even mad something of Nichijo, even though I haven't seen it. This is the comments I read. But when I really think about what's happening with Nokotan right now, episode one, yeah. There was some crazy shit happening in episode 1. As soon as you see Nokotan hanging off of a fucking phone line, Nokotan comes in through the door and he breaks the door and there's like rubbles going to everybody. That was pretty funny. But now, ep after episode 2, I'm really thinking and I'm like, hold up. Let's stop glazing this show saying peak Nokotan, dear, dear, shika, shika. Let's actually think about it. And I think that it's mid. I genuinely do. I think the humor is okay. But it's not what everyone was expecting, and maybe the expectations were a little bit too high. Let me read some other comments. I thought that episode 3 was far better than episode 1 and 2, which I firstly found unfunny and dull. Personally, I feel like episode 1 was the best one, so yet. Episode four, uh, 3, primarily, I liked for the dancing sequence in the first half of the episode. Personally, I thought the dancing was a little fucking awkward. Because the trailer depicted Nokotan doing that dance while, you know, the fucking viral opening was playing. But in the actual anime episode, there was nothing playing. And apparently that was a directional, uh, that was like an intentional decision. In order to have you guys, you know, play whatever songs you want in your own background. It's basically just like a green screen. With the rest of the episode being fairly standard fare, that's not funny. But episode 4, I enjoyed it all the way through. And like, I do enjoy their overall slice of life. I'm like, it's less about comedy, more about slice of life now. Like, I do enjoy the new three trio and what they're about, but the audience kind of got baited and expected a different anime. Something fucking crazy, like an acid trip. Like, it's, everything should be insane every time. But now that they're doing a little bit of character introductions, and yes, the characters are quirky, it's just not really hitting it. Is this some editing over here? I don't think like, yeah, but there's so many animes in existence, that's really not a problem to drop this one. I don't think we need to drop this. I was just really thinking about like, how Nokotan is getting, right? And I don't know. I don't know. A lot of people love this show. But when I really start to think about Nokotan and like how much expectations there has been in my personal experience after episode four, it's a pretty decent show to watch. But is it that peak brain rot? I don't think so. At least not yet. Only four episodes in and they're doing all the characters introductions. And remember, the biggest fault right now that a lot of people feel is because they're doing a lot of character introductions and all the comedy is deriving from just 
Koshitan's reactions, which sometimes are just fucking mid. Everyone wanted Nokotan and the bizarreness is Nokotan, yet they kind of strayed away from that in order to introduce a, a, a lot of other characters. And typical with any anime faction on YouTube reactions, right? Obviously, first episode's gonna do well, and then it slowly tapers down and stabilizes, and it's perfectly fine. But I don't know. I think you guys should really think about Nokotan. Anytime, like always. I, I love hot anime takes because sometimes they're not just trying to be controversial. Sometimes they're actually saying something that goes against the grain of the popular opinion. And yeah, sometimes they're doing devil's advocate. Sometimes people are just saying that shit for negative engagement. But I think those comments, they kind of resonate within me. What do you guys think? I'm not going to drop Nokotan. I'm still enjoying it. But it really made me think with the recent episodes compared to the trailers and I guess episode one and this level of expectations that I guess I've set for myself.